Hi, this is BearHunter.TV and this is your host Zane Daggett. Welcome to my next video blog. This particular video may not be of interest to everybody, but it's important because it shows you a little bit of how the bears behave as they come into the bait site. This is a sow that has been investigating the site now for several minutes and has not yet come into the site. I've speeded up the video and cut several of the smaller clips out, but you'll notice her behavior. She wants to come in, she turns around and goes out, she'll want to come in again, then she'll turn around and, and go out, and then she'll come back in. This is not unusual for bear, especially in the brighter shooting light hours. Uh, when it gets later towards dusk and the shooting day, the shooting time is almost over, they do become more confident and they're not quite as timid about coming in. Also, depending upon the size of the bear, uh, that will also determine how timid and how cautious they are. The younger ones, especially the males, will tend to come in a little bit more bold. Uh, the older bear, a little more cautious. Although they're still curious, they are a little more cautious. And it's important that you know this, especially if you've never been bear hunting before. If you have, then you've already witnessed some of this, I'm sure. But our first instinct is to shoot as soon as we see a bear. And you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you have a clean shot if you are archery hunting because that kill zone is much smaller and those bear have a large shoulder bone that will deflect the arrow. If you wait until the bear is reaching forward with her paw closest towards you, that exposes their vulnerable spot and giving you a clean lung shot or heart shot and that's your best shot with archery. Obviously if you're shooting with a gun, you have a little more forgiveness. You can shoot right through the shoulder bone and you really don't have to worry about it. But I personally have been wanting to spend more time archery hunting and less gun. And you want to make sure that those barrels are positioned where they reach into the food, reach into the barrel, and that exposes that vulnerable spot as I mentioned before. Again, as you watch this, remember the speed is 2x. And you're going to see this particular sow uh, turn around and go out a couple times. And finally, at one point, she starts to bolt out. She stops. She looks over her shoulder. And then decides to go ahead and bolt out of the area and shortly thereafter a smaller boar comes in and these the sows will yield to a smaller boar depending upon their size but for the most part they will yield and the boar will come in and the boar comes in a little bit more confidence but even the boar will take food walk out of the bait site come back walk out come back and walk out very typical of how the bear behave and sometimes if it's earlier on in the the uh, shooting light. Keep in mind that if a bear decides to leave real quickly, that doesn't mean you lost your opportunity. It probably means another bear is in the area and about to come in. Don't let your guard down. Be prepared. Okay, notice what this sow does. She bolts after looking over her shoulder. She senses that something's about to happen. A couple minutes later, a smaller, younger boar comes in and starts to graze on the food. This boar is a little more aggressive in coming in, not quite as cautious. Notice the size is smaller. It's a younger bear, and this bear will take food, go out of the bait area, eat some of the food, and then return.
hope you've enjoyed these brief video clips. This is Zane Daggett, again your host of bearhunter.tv.